Welcome to my views and news Friday's first video for you with firstly we have uh, an update for you on Vogue Himra fighting fighting in Vogue Himra zone we know that Tigray forces uh, launched an offensive towards Sikota from Abergale uh, Amhara Abergale uh, and after that uh, Tigray forces launched an offensive from Koram towards uh, Lali Bala and then came a counter offensive by Ethiopian National Defense Force. Ethiopian National Defense Force moved from Sikota in a northern direction towards Tigray and Ethiopian government has made some territorial gains. Ethiopian National Defense Force has made some territorial gains. We have details for you. And secondly, viewers, Tigray today showed captured Republican Guards, uh, Ethiopian elite force, which was formed in 2018 after PMRB came to power. This uh, special operations uh, wing was uh, constituted. Dozens of Republican Guards have been shown as prisoners of war. We have details for you. Firstly, viewers, uh, Vog Himra Front. We know that uh, in previous videos, uh, we discussed that Tigray forces uh, had launched an offensive uh, towards Sikota from Abergale. Two Abergales, one on Amhara side and the other on Tigray side. The other on Tigray side uh, leads towards central Tigray. And on Amhara side, Abragale uh, leads towards Sikota. And uh, last year, when Tigray forces withdrew from the Amhara region of Ethiopia, uh, they withdrew from uh, uh, Sikota, Volo, uh, after suffering uh, losses in Amhara far regions. But they did not retreat from Abergale. Abergale of the Amhara region remained under the control of uh, Tigray forces. And tens of thousands of people from Abergale and neighboring areas, they uh, were displaced towards Sikota. And after the start of fighting, the resumption of fighting on the 24th of August, Tigray forces... Uh, launched uh, an offensive from Abergale, Amhara region, which TDF was in control of, towards Sikota. At the same time, a TDF a tried to move uh, from Koram to cut off Sikota Lali Bala Road, uh, and TDF managed to reach close to Lali Bala. And uh, UK government issued a travel advisory advising its citizens not to travel to Lali Bala and not to travel along uh, Lali Bala Sikota road because TDF uh, had managed to reach this road and fighting was ongoing close to this road. And there were rumors being shared that Lali Bala was about to fall. Then came counter-offensive by Ethiopian National Defense Force. We know that in Sikota there uh, has been a large scale deployment of Ethiopian National Defense Force. If you remember, PM Abi uh, a few months ago visited uh, Sikota and uh, there he and top uh, ENDF generals they met with uh, Eastern Command here, Eastern Command uh, officials, uh, military officials here. So there was heavy deployment of ENDF on Sikota front. From Sikota, ENDF launched uh, a counter-offensive to, uh, counter towards Abergale. Target of this counter-offensive was firstly Abergale of the Amhara region. And if Abergale comes under ENDF, ENDF uh, will try to enter uh, uh, Tigray from Abergale Amhara towards Samre, towards Chile and from here you can reach Makele as well viewers. Uh, I remember uh, this road was used last year by uh, uh, ENDF for its supplies. Uh, this road Sikota, Abergale, Makele road. It was used by ENDF for its supplies last year. 
uh, last year and after the start of no November 2020 war. So, Ethiopian National Defense Force seems to have made gains because ENDF today shared pictures of uh, alleged uh, TDF hideouts and shelters in Abergale. ENDF is claiming that these hideouts have come under ENDF control. Tigray forces uh, uh, are no more there and the area has been cleared. No details have been shared so far by ENDF. How much territory is, uh, has been retaken by ENDF? ENDF has not entered Tigray. That is what we have confirmed. ENDF's uh, gains are on Amhara side of Amhara Tigray border. It seems it has managed to reach Abergale of the Amhara region, which was under TDF control for months. And these pictures are reportedly from Abergale of the Amhara region. Secondly, uh, pictures of uh, uh, Aid provided by aid agencies uh, are being shared as well. That uh, some uh, wheat flour sacks have been recovered from these hideouts and other nutritional supplements uh, which are provided by aid agencies to Tigray have been recovered from these hideouts. So, ENDF is building a case that the aid which was being delivered to Tigray was actually being diverted towards Tigray forces. That is why Tigray fighters have been found in possession of this aid material. Uh, you can see uh, some pictures on your screen. Uh, first two pictures show the hideouts, alleged hideouts of Tigray Defense Force in Abergale, which have come under ENDF control. And next pictures show the U.S. aid, food aid, which uh, arrived in Tigray and which was found uh, at these hideouts. So, ENDF seems to have made gains on Waghim Rafan. That is why we are not hearing uh, about any TDF uh, gains towards Lalibela because Lalibela, pressure on Lalibela has been released. Tigray forces were trying to move to Lalibela. Now, I think uh, the advance to Lalibela has been slowed down because they have uh, suffered uh, losses in Abergale. We'll have to wait and see uh, how deep uh, ENDF wants to advance into Tigray uh, and uh, what is going to be the impact of this ENDF advance uh, into Abergale. That remains to be seen. Uh, if ENDF is so close to Tigray borders, obviously it would be uh, a matter of concern for TDF's uh, supply lines. TDF is fighting close to Waldia. So, if uh, ENDF starts uh, approaching Tigray borders, it would be difficult for Tigray Defense Force to keep its supply lines flowing for its forces fighting close to Vuldia. Uh, secondly, viewers, Republican guards have been taken prisoner by Tigray forces. Today, pictures were shared by Tigray backed news sources. Republican guards uh, is an elite unit of Ethiopian National Defense Force and it was formed in 2018 after PM Abi came to power. Why was this new force formed, uh, raised? The force, the unit was raised to defend from coups because other ENDF uh, units, ENDF uh, wings, they report to chief of army staff, uh, head of army, Birhan Anjula. So, there was need of uh, uh, a force which is directly under the control of Ethiopian PM Abi, a defense minister, to defend from any likely coup attempts by ENDF. It happens, viewers, uh, in other countries uh, too. Uh, uh, separate forces are formed to protect uh, civilian leadership and to protect uh, parliament and other buildings. Uh, but in those countries uh, where armies are in power in secret or in uh, or openly 
their armies are in control of the security of uh, politicians like in pakistan in pakistan there is no republican guards because in pakistan uh, pakistan army calls the shots politicians uh, though they are elected but uh, real power is held by the army and uh, politicians cannot go against the decisions made by the army so pakistan is definitely far away from true democracy uh, in uh, ethiopia pm abi when he came to power he uh, announced the formation of republican guards and it was uh, uh, a good step because it was necessary to protect uh, the civilian setup of from coups that is why republican guards was established and it is an elite unit uh, of uh, ethiopian national defense force it is equipped with all types of weapons with helicopters with apcs with uh, assault rifles with snipers it is everything uh, it has everything it can counter endf uh, and uh, it is uh, capable of conducting special operations uh, skilled as well trained to uh, but uh, its uh, members have been taken prisoner too i think on kobo front and dozens were shown today by uh, uh, tigray backed news sources uh, they have arrived in makale tigray's capital you can see the picture in screen of republican guards who are now pow's uh, in makale tigray's capital uh tigray has managed to capture thousands of prisoners there's no doubt about that because we are seeing several videos new videos and uh, we have seen hundreds so far it means that uh, definitely uh, several thousand have been taken prisoner by tigray defense force on kobo front thank you for watching